Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues, in which we're using a sub-mod called Old World Blues Lost Expeditions. Now, I was noticing someone else uh, play this, and I figured, you know what, how about we go ahead and try it out for ourselves, in which we shall begin with the Colorado Expedition. The Colorado Expedition set out from the NCR a long time ago. I hardly care to count how many years have passed since we got stranded here. Did we... Really start our journey more than 20 years ago now, and we have start with 5 divisions, 4 infantry, 1 militia, not bad, and Sergeant Larson looks pretty good for attack, which we do like that, and we also have General Coleridge. Looks very cool, I like the, I like the power armor. So, uh, we're using the Old World Blues mod, obviously. Old World Blues Radio, Old World Blues Lost Expeditions, as well as State Chester Tool Mod, and Play Peace Conference is pretty tried and true on this channel, but the Colorado Expedition. The expedition set out slightly over 20 years ago. One of the last initiatives of the late President Tandy. I, Dr. Goddard, leading a few dozen scientists and three battalions worth of NCR troopers under the command of General Coleridge. Over the course of a few months, we made our way to the Boulder Dome in Colorado. The expedition was cursed from the very second of its inception. It had been plagued by ego-driven infighting and tragic accidents through our journey. We made a stop at Hoover Dam and briefly studied the electric capabilities of the miraculously self-functioning generators. I wrote a paper on how to further repair it, though I'd be astonished if anyone back in Shady Sands actually read it. As someone who studied Gecko's power plant before, it was more or less a routine job, but it was the one bright spot in an otherwise trying journey. I also discovered the wreckage of the old bomb station 002 in the Grand Canyon and left a small team to further investigate it. Traveled on a ship on the Colorado River up north, and after a short trip to Denver, or as it is now called Dock City, where we traded with and were resupplied by the local scavengers, we headed to the Dome. Since then, our numbers dwindled on to extreme levels, and our brief occupation of the Dome only brought us a handful of resources to our current camp, which now we survive on. I cannot even remember it now. Larson, what did we save from the dome when we, the accident happened? We saved a handful of already repaired generators, Goddard. Not bad. And we hauled as many raw scraps as one could find and carry. Now, with 3.2 caps update. Ooh, cool. 3.2? Ah, uh, uh, kind of already played this, whatever. Let's see. Let's take a look at our resources. So we have a little bit of energy, but we have fewer scrap, and we're going to need more scrap because of the things we're going to produce. Energy can wait slightly, but let's take a look at... Uh, no, um, maybe not, maybe not. We do have some scrap there we'll take out. Probably, I haven't played this off screen at all, so I'm assuming we're going to take out all of Colorado and reform this good old state of Colorado. So, overall, really, we could probably use more energy than scrap. We can always make either one in factories, of course. But I'm going to go and grab the scrap. We hauled as many raw scrap as one could find and carry. Up next, followed with Presper's Legacy. There he was, smug and looking older than time itself, a brilliant mind, a great visionary, and a dangerous lunatic, Victor Prespa, stain on the wasteland and on our history. Oh, what a stain, stain, stain. And I have a good feeling we're going to begin and strike one, two, three, four. Very good. And we have four infantry divisions. Actually, I do want to show you their 12 combo with, with support recon, and we have militia, which is just, just dudes. Just literally dudes with guns. But that's okay. The legacy of Victor Prespa. What we found in the dome was nothing short of astonishing, and I'm not referring to the scientific miracle of the dome itself. What we found was a man from the old world, a man who slept through at the ages in the cryogenic freezing, the now infamous and utterly loathsome Victor Presper. With his massive ego, short temper, and incredible disturbed mind, it was hard to believe that this man was once known as the smartest man in America. His brilliance was unquestionable. Even when his gluttony for knowledge and his lunacy kicked him, I cannot take that away from him. No, I'm not jealous at all. Our arrival has awakened him and his similarly frozen companions whom were surprisingly high in numbers. We tried to cooperate with him at first, and the short time that we spent together was productive to say the least. On the face of it, it was a marriage made in heaven. We had resources and practical know-how. They had pre-war scientific knowledge. I learned a great deal and we got into a lot of arguments about these theories the and other egghead stuff I don't want you to confuse you with. It was just like back in the academy in the NCR, a nostalgia like that can warm up an old man's cold heart then. Just a quarter security chief, everything went to crap. Indeed, everything did go to crap. The fall of Victor. Prosper, from the very first moment that we have met, had his own ideas. Secret so researches and lunatic theories about life and the condition of the wasteland. He was scheming something in the shadows, and after a few weeks, he presented his conclusions to us. He wanted the clean slate. He wanted to clean the slate. Kill off everyone who deemed he deemed unworthy. Embellic. Imbecilic, 
a lower life form or whatever. Ooh, our people and more, of course, we resisted, and not only us, but a couple of formerly frozen colleagues as well. There was some shouting, some begging, and some firefights, lots of bodies dropping dead. We were lucky that we somehow managed to survive and could evacuate from the place in time, and we didn't lose too many researchers. Our military escort units were heavily, but they were easily replaceable, sadly. We also lost some important engineers and scientists, and not only because of the fighting between us and Presper, we lost some of them because of Presper's speech. Jean and a couple more of went with Victor. Traitors. I believe Jean is a director now and taking command over the little team we left at the Grand Canyon. I hope she gets what's coming to her. Presper, his name may be cursed, took a lot from us, but in that short peaceful time when we worked together, we learned from them as well. Like, oh, where I put my notes. Electronics and communications devices, not bad. Robotics for the menial work and combat alike. Do we get robots here? Huh, let's take a look. Robot. Uh, let's see. Immediate. Requires immediate da damage report. Ooh. And then make a breakthrough. Access to local biogeo. We could do scientific robotics tech. And scientific robotics tech is robots. We are, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad. And, you know, electronics comes along eventually. It's only 25% bonus, so I like having more options. So, ooh, no, it's still blueprints, so. though. Ooh. Hmm. But you get two. So that's not too bad. Electronics communications device, why not? Boulder Dome. The Boulder Dome was a work of wonders, the technology that resided in it, and the equipment that survived the centuries in that nuclear-proof dome were incredible. Something that everyone should want for himself. Maybe I made a mistake, maybe I didn't. I don't know, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. And for the national spirit, a handful of republic. We get weekly manpower. Virtual consumer goods, occupation appeal, more repute a refugee by the Boulder Dome, of course. As a goal, the expedition was always centered around the Boulder Dome. I'll have to talk about it as well, don't won't I? So be it. I could only study it for a couple of weeks, but it was glorious. So, standing tall over a dead city, proud and unshaken, radiating with a mysterious green light, all right. The last one was a poetic overstatement, but even the radioactive danger it posed gave it some sense of mystical beauty. What it was, and just as awe-inspiring, this place once was a center of research in medicine and renewable energy, not even mentioning the robotics development and the rudimentary power armor studies that went on there. But the real treasure was that was hidden and forgotten in its deepest parts. If I remember correctly, which means less and less as the years going by, my student Paul found it in one of his voyages around the facility. I'm still functioning, although quickly dying Zach's computer. I hope you understand now. We'll have to get back into the dome quickly before that computer finally kills itself. And let me tell you, the last couple of decades haven't done anything to improve its condition either. Ain't that that ain't that would be a kick in the head? Project Zach. Prepare for the inevitable. Time was gracious for the computer until now. Well, we'll win one extra year to save the computer. It'll come with high prices that need to be paid for later. Um, I don't want to do that. Let's do that. Let's do this one first. Cause I don't want to have anything bad. But prepare for the inevitable. The last two decades went by faster than I could have ever expected. A generation has been growing up, or grown up since then. New, young faces, both in our army and scientific circle, dominate the baggers. We've been preparing our homecoming since then, gathered as many men as we could from the locals and stockpiled the necessary equipment as well. But we have waited too long. We have wasted too much time in our little pocket of Colorado. The land has become infested with ghouls, giving us an obstacle and solution at the same time. The only solution or question is, should we use up our stockpile for a critical pu first push, or should we plan a bit further ahead and use them in the longer term service or investments? We'll have to use what we left and waste no more time. Cool. Or, we'll have to be prepared for what lies before us. Well, right now, we're out of equipment. We are making, I guess, no divisions. I didn't even look at this stuff yet. Uh, let's see. We can get rid of that. Uh, I'm not sure about that. We'll probably do special forces. There we go. Good. We're making one, two divisions. There we go. And... And the first war, we'll, prepare, uh, we'll have to prepare for what lies before us. And we get some stability. Even the worst part would be nice. Stability, I prefer. And put an end to nightmares. Luminous ones. Oh, these guys are the luminous ones, so I want to kill them off as fast as possible. Our soldiers are sleepless. Our patrols go out every night shaking in their boots, and our settlements have to keep the lights on the whole night. We won't take this anymore. There will be not be another late night raid. The luminous ones are going down, and they're going down permanently. Very good. Oh, Project Zach. Uh, the domes are everything, our past, present, and future. It is our mission to get there. It is our duty to use everything it gives us, our destiny to make it great again. Under the dome, there are a great many secrets to be revealed. We can go far with a database that the unstable Zax holds, but if we could stabilize it and fix it permanently, we could achieve greatness on a level that NCR never seen before. We might even surpass the likes of Vault City and the Brotherhood. Ooh, we need to get Zax technology researched. Ooh. What are the following parts must be true? Narcissistic programmer or chaos theorist. Oh. That seems like... Ooh. We're going to have to do some things here. Oh, we got it done. Nice. Pressing civilians into service. I like that. Engineers tuned for war. Yes. 
Our engineering team's original goal was to repair and study the machinery that was placed under Boulder Dome. As we can't do that right now, their workload is quite light. Maybe this is simply menial work, but putting them to work maintaining our weaponry, or for the pacifist souls, helping in the local construction projects, would help give us a fighting chance of putting this expedition back on track. And we're going to immediately go to war because we like war here. Let's see what happens. Do they attack us? No? Okay. So, what are we going to do? We don't know how well we can strike. Let's see. And I usually like going inspirational because we like inspirational people. Infantry. Ooh, hmm. Uh, infantry, tech, and defense. I think for now, we might just keep all infantry. I don't know if we, how much robots we're actually going to get, though. Hmm. Mm, bloody mess. Do, 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 do. What are we going to do here? Robotics. I always like doing rooted just because you get more entrenchment, which is very, very useful. So we'll leave that. Oh, uh, we should probably grab that now, but that's not going to help us on attack. Screw it. We want as much attack as possible. Mysterious stranger. Oh, we can't do that now. God dang it. And also, we have the national spirit, bigotry, and the armed forces. We get more weekly stability, but less recruitable population forces, which sucks, but whatever. Now, uh, we can attack there, or we can attack right here, which I'm thinking we're going to attack right here first. Let's see what we can do. 72, not bad. Oh, they have quite a few divisions, which is not good. Two. All right, all right. Hopefully, we can still beat them up. It looks like we're doing relatively okay. And once we push through there, then they might attack us. We go take the chug water, perhaps. We don't have that many divisions, so we'll have to pin some people here as well. Oh, we're, mo oh, we're mobilizing. Look at that. We are on funded militias. Okay. Combat language is good. Let's go ahead and grab this stuff real quick. Reference manuals as well as secret language. And we'll probably, since we're from the NCR, we'll probably just go do conventional warfare, which makes, at least in my mind, some sense. Followed up with, actually, engineering stuff? No. Let's grab some output. Work is needed. Which should be good. You guys should be able to win here, right? You should be able to win. If we go in there, if we let them come in, we actually might be able to destroy them that way, maybe? No, go and help them out. Maybe you just take Red Mountain, maybe. We'll see what happens. If they're not moving in, I'm kind of okay with that, so... You guys keep all these guys in place. We're going to circle and destroy. You can help out, actually... Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. And we're going to get encircled ourselves. That's fine. You hold. You actually hold. You pin them there. And encircle them to kill them. There you go. Do what you can. It's not going to be great, but it'll it'll be what it is. Maybe we can just take out Red Mountain, but they might get... I'm not really sure if they'll get Chugwater as you know their new capital. So it is what it is. And as long as we can take this towel, that's the most important thing. Come on. Come on. You guys got this. Come on. Come on. We're slowly winning. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. Since they're pinned there too. That's nice. Very good. Very good. And let's grab some of that. Warrior training. Just don't lose too much. You can lose a little bit, just not too much. Chug water, once he's, chug water's gone, we might just go straight for Red Mountain, actually. Secret language is good, too. All right. We got a land docking. Uh, let's get some specialized doctrine. We might want some special forces, too. Come on. Don't give up the attack. We cannot let them get back in there, and we will do pressing into the civilians in a service. Our expedition was focused on scientists and engineers, with NCR soldiers coming along as escorts and not as a fighting force, but a great many other people joined in as well. Truckers and river sailors, secretaries and accountants, to make this operation run smoothly. In desperate times like this, we can put guns into their hands. Good, now you go straight for there, and you just keep putting a lot of pressure on them. Lots and lots of pressure. Oh, there goes those guys. Good, and we will take them out, kill them off, and have a good time. There you go. I'm not sure that's going to be enough for us, but let's see what happens. Is that their capital now? Doesn't matter. They died. You didn't have to kill off their divisions. You just have to do well. That's all. Just do well. Now, I wonder how many men we lost because it wasn't a good fight. But we did get their infantry equipment, which is very good, actually. Very, very good. Um, that's the case. You can go here. We go need some more water. Oh, boy. That's not good. So, we can either do Cold Unity or we can do Cold Purity, which, as I did say earlier, I was watching someone, and he went with Cold Unity, so we're going to go with Cold Purity. The ghouls are a threat, and we already learned this, as the Luminous Ones constantly raided day in, day out, for years on end, because of that. A high proportion of our soldiers got addicted to rad away, as the only thing that kept them alive in the field. While we're not planning on exterminating the rotters, we'll mostly ignore them from the greater picture at this time. And before we forget, occupied territories. Boom! Good. Militias are great. Uh, do we have enough for this? No, we don't. That is not bueno. Quite not bueno. Shows army. Oh, we only fun of that. We can't even make this stuff then. We can't make an intelligence agency. Uh, we can't have lower resistance that way, but we'll have to suffice. But national spirit. I love weekly stability, even though it's not very much. And then code purity. Different skin, same goals. Goal, goal paratroopers. That's kind of cool. Or organized rad troops. Auxiliary expedition. Stocking up right away. Looks not too bad. We lose stability. We get chems legalized. We get medical tech, and we get some 
support equipment, patrols in the Rotter's Lands, a less resistance strike, which is not bad, which one will need, and then purchasing hazmat suits. Eh, that's okay. It's not really great. This one, less supply consumption I'd like, but I don't like getting less division organization, but code purity. All right, so what do we have here? We have Sergeant Larson. Oh, oh, that's not good. We lose stability that way. Oh, that's actually really bad. Attack a bonus against Ghoul Nations, kind of so. Having a hard childhood, living by scraps, and then serving the military just to be banished at the opposite corner of the world, those would take a heavy toll on any hearted man's mind. The glowing ro rotters were just the cherry on the top. Larson, a good soldier, a loyal one, but even he couldn't take any kind of olive branch offering to the ghouls without the feeling of complete betrayal. Oh, who else do we have here? Defense. Oh, that's not bad. I like that one. Eddie Galensky, not bad. First Recon Commander, Desert Hawk. Very cool. Frontline Operative, HCF uh, proponent. I like that one quite a bit. Fire team. We should get some fire teams. What do we have here? Donald. Dr. Sebastian. Fleming. Nine Fingered Welder. Radio Engineer. Veteran Mechanic. I like that one as well. Less Spike Consumption, Uncle Jim. <clears throat> Glowing Prophet. That's kind of cool. More weekly manpower, huh? Okay, Captain Income. Not bad. Paul. Re unlocks the repair. Zach's computer. Note that to repair the computer, you have to control the Boulder Dome first, making a damage report. Ooh. Less stability, narcissistic mediator. Ooh, I like that one. I like Nina here. Daily compliance gain is pretty good. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't do that one either. Do we, have any, oh, do, we have, do we have anything unique here? No, we do not. Chief of the Army, Californian Menace, not bad. Pre war Colonel, not bad either, but. Mm, gold paratroopers, we won't get those unlocked, so that'd be kind of a waste. Flyboys, not bad. In the meantime, actually, we don't have any, Oh, who's this? Agnes. Less political power, research speed. Born of the tribal leader parents. Agnes has been sent to the NCR's academy for two reasons. To learn to be a wise woman and a great leader. And be herself a diplomatic gesture so her tribe could join the Republic. The two things stuck with her for life. Knowledge and diplomacy. She could never take something so primitively brutish and offensive as acting like bigots, especially on a larger scale. Oh, that hurts her pee-pee. Why do you have to hurt her pee-pee, woman? Oh. Hmm... I think for this one, I like this one a lot. I'm going to maybe wait. Cause I like Major Briggs quite a bit. This one, less damage to Gearsons, and required Gearsons goes down as well. I think that's pretty darn good. Oh, we can... Yeah, he can repair. Both these can repair. We have both of the fear and the cowards. I kind of want to get this one... Let's get this one immediately so we can get some more daily compliance. I think that would be very good to get. So, let's do that one. We're still mobilizing a little bit. So, and we, uh, one, yeah, I keep going back for that one. After this, we'll go stockpiling up right away. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, no. I don't want to hurt stability first. Let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, actually, how much resistance do we have here? I want to wait till it's pretty maximized first until we do that one, so... By then, it'll be not too bad. Ah, yeah, purchasing this thing hazmat suits. Boulders got quite a worse in the last decade. The radiation worsened and a strange sickness started to spread across the ruins. We'll need additional protection to able to actually be able to work there. We'll need more hazmat suits for military, even if they're lower quality than what we have now, and we'll trade with anyone to get them. Nice, work is needed. is done. Good. Go and grab that one. Old country declared war on the rock purchase. Also, we are on historical just to see what will happen. So we will open. Oh! Goodbye, Agnes! Nice. And purchasing hazmat suits. <sighs> 1 1.13 day! Oh, thank God we got rid of her. Yeah, minus 25%. 5% research speed for minus 25% political power. Uh, I don't know, man. That's not really worth it, in my opinion. Oh, Commander Vax, look at that. An envoy from Robot City, Senor Centro, rolled into camp a while ago now. His main objective was to make contact with us, but not only has brought us news of Denver's box, he has stayed to help us with anything we need. He's a very friendly and helpful mechanical fella, though we're puzzled as to why he only refers to himself as Senor Centro, when the point paint on his chassis clearly states that his name is Commander Vex. Oh, it's probably the result of Doki Doki's friendship program. We don't know what Vex acronym stands for, but his databanks hold a large amount of military knowledge, mostly about robotic warfare. We can always use this for our future endeavors. We even... Even when his data is hidden deep in the pre-war head, in his pre-war head. Warrior training? Uh, maybe we went down the wrong way for the land auction then. Do we do we get the option to go down and do um, robots? It sounds like we do. In theory, Radaway is the last ditch medicine against radiation poisoning. In our armed forces, the requirements of fighting in a radioactive wasteland have slowly turned into a mandatory consumable war. While it is probably a bad idea to get our whole army addicted, we hardly have any other choice. We'll distribute them widely from this point on. We'll start to stockpile them in greater numbers. Ah, drugs. Um, we, I, we, I don't think we can get that one done. Oh, let's go back over here, details. Nice. Because Zach's technology is literally all the way at the end here. So, I don't know if we can actually get that one done. So, yeah. Okay, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll do our best so that we can. Sand caravans, we actually might do that one just because we could use more caps, realistically. And that'll give us a lot more, probably. 
Uh, four caps. Ten caps. Receive ten caps. Receive eleven. Receive eighty-two. I love the Legion. But after this, then we'll do Patrol in the Rider's Land. The land of the Riders is an ugly one. Black land, black trees, black sky, and black waters sickened by a black plague. Lots of ghouls have banded together here, even fair ones who don't understand civilized existence. We'll have to purge them from the land. Even the ghouls inside our territory will be glad of it. Probably. Actually, who cares? Less resistance, sign us up. And I'm glad we waited because it's now at 5%. Never mind, we should have done that a little bit earlier. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not sure we should even go down this way then. I don't know. Like, I, I legit don't know. So, we'll see. If we have to change our land auction because we'll use robots instead, we'll go ahead and do that. So, Ooh, another 100. Yeah, I'm going to wait then. I, I just don't know. But it seems like we might go down this way. 5%. 15%. Hmm. All right. Efficiency mechanic or... Yeah, maniac. Maniac. Ooh. That's not going to help us now immediately. And, uh, do, do, do. So, well, I have to choose... It sounds like either one, so not both. Can't do that one. Oh, so we can't do William Clark any of them. So we actually, we might be good at both. I don't know. Friendly Trader Doctor. We get more money. That's not going to help us out immediately. Outside Volunteers. I kind of don't mind getting more of this immediately. We're going to need as much manpower as possible. And uh, Refugee Assimilation. I like assimilating very quickly. So let's do that one. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. And then Organize the Rad Troops. If we want to take back our Boulder Dome, we'll have to kick in the door, and for that we'll need the best. Our most experienced soldiers nowadays have a nickname, the Rad Troops, as they so often got deployed on the front lines that they consume more rad away than normal food at this point. Collecting them into one brigade will only result in an unstoppable force, and a great hit to our drug supplies. We get a two 25% research bonus for a Special Forces Doctrine. And uh, under the nickname Rad Troops, pump full of rad away, requiring Special Forces equipment and support equipment, which will report for duty in our capital. Enable editing of Ranger Auxiliary Expedition Template or training or disbanding units belonging to it. Oh, that's cool. Nice. That sounds great. Compliance is at 50%. 48% is not bad. Resistance is at 2 and 2, so not bad. Draw Control Gear. It is to October 26, 2275. Everything else here on lock? No. I'm going to go and probably get some anti-tank just in case eventually. Grab some automation because we can do that early on. But the next focus. Ooh, Los was puppeted. Goodbye. Old dog, new tricks. Oh. Roll the boulder. Oh, yes, please. Before we can storm the dome itself, we'll have to? Well, be at it, of course. The roads to it are still littered with ghouls. However, the feral and the aggressive ones. We'll have to take them out. We have no other choice. That's the weapon of the fear of the cowards. We get political advisor James. Electronic technology. Yeah, that's what we want. We definitely want that. Narcissistic programmer, which is good. That's what we want. Old tricks and new tricks. We like that one. Reopen the thirsty devil. We'll get more compliance eventually. I like that. Nice. Uh, let's go grab this guy. Whip up the fear of the cowards. The people of our land don't fully see the threat that the ghouls pose. They're afraid of them, of course, and quite suspicious of the riders, but just not enough to support our viewpoint. That's why we'll have to share our manifesto and convince them otherwise. Ah, it's always good when we have a manifesto. If we are fortunate, we might even gather support amongst the scientists. Good. A little bit ahead of time, that's alright. Another division to help us break through these guys. Hopefully... Oh! Larson's boys! Nice! Awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome possum. And Insomniac Commando? When I see Insomniac, I'm thinking of like Ratchet and Clank Command. I, I swear, man. Every time. I was like, when you see the word Burgundy, what do you, what mod do you think of? I'm thinking of a certain mod. And of course, I'm totally talking about EU4 and uh, that that game. Totally. Oh, refugees? Zero refugees? 752 ever fled before conquering armies. Very nice. And let's see. Hope for the downtrodden. Nah. What about the fear of the cowards? And the military service for citizenship. Eh, that's okay. What is this one? Black Canyon Hope. Prepare the homecoming? Prepare the settlements. I like workshop. Let's grab that one. We're almost in position to reclaim our home, and yet we're not prepared. Our previous conquests have brought a lot of manpower our country that serve as a workforce for community projects, as well as our workshops. We don't have another 20 years to get ready. Two months will have to be sufficient. Just in time for another division. Let's go in. Will they attack us? No, that's good. Uh, I'm going to send you guys there, and I'm going to send you there, so we'll pin this division and kill it off. There you go. And if they want to move, then we'll just pin them everywhere else. And we are here. No, sir. Not today. Not so, That's not very good for us. And you know what? You're here. You might as well come in here, too. And you might hop out. Support the attack. Kill them off. Oh, they wanted to attack us? Oh, no, 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 senor. Oh, we have more peepee. -pee. I love the peepee. -pee. Military commander. I just, I don't know. I, I, we just have to wait. I'm going to wait on that. Uh, yes, woke up the army. That would be very good to get. Kill them off, please. Please kill them off. You can do it. 
Hey, we got in. Cut him off here. There you go. And those guys will go bye-bye, too. We love it when enemies go bye-bye. Oh, you guys can go in there if you, if you really want. Let's go off that division first, and then we'll attack these guys. And we and we also want to grind out some army XP as well, so that'll be good to do. And they go bye-bye. Yay, get everyone here, and then we'll just do a general attack. It's fine with me. Three, two, just go ahead. Yay, general attacks. We love them. Not enough manpower. Oh, that's looking 70. Oh, jeez, that's looking very nice. Everyone, let's go in. Ah, uh, Fort Collins will be ours. Thank you very much for playing with the Doggerinos. But who's next? That's a real question. After this, oh, uh, old dogs and new tricks. We'll probably do that one to lower resistance target. It is 45 day focus. Normally, we wouldn't meddle with any kind of ghoul, but there will be always some notable exceptions like this one. Old Dog, the half mad leader of the Withered Dogs, holds on to power, was always questionable at best. If we offer him some minimal leverage over the ghouls, he would happily serve us, after all. Even we need a reliable dog to herd our flock. Now, who's next, actually? That's a good question. Who is next? Do we get free cores or anything? Code Unity, of course. Uh, let's see. I could have given us more political power and recoupable population factor, but whatever. Uh, cores, cores, cores. Ooh, revenge for everything. Squash of the bugs. Not bad. Open mic at Glowbugs Grove. Okay. Lawless Life Wasteland. It doesn't look like we get cores on any of this stuff. New Sterling Compliance is nice. Ooh, that looks really cool. Colorado Treasure. No, we do not. So we might have to manually course up. The uninvited guests. Alright. Liberation. Time to learn Chinese. Captain of Colorado. Who let the dogs out? Core reduction in the former Hangdog territories. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't look like we get any free cores. Revenge for everything. I'm not sure that's going to do anything. I kind of want to wait to see what will happen, though. Alright, so let's grab this stuff as well. Decryption. Uh, I mean, this is probably not going to go well for us, huh? Alright, so let's go ahead and do this to 150. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh, that is good. I love trading. Oh, hello. Warden is not looking like they're having a good time. Let's see if we might go to war with these guys, too. I do want to get Iron Alliance because they do have the trade note over there, so. Old dogs, new tricks. Very good. Yeah, let's close that up. Uh, we were going down here. Prepare the settlements. Can we kill anybody else off? I want to kill people off. This focus will grant better rewards if you already core the state prior. Oh, prior. Okay, the city of Boulder. Um, citizen, military service for citizenship. Land doctrine, I like that. Basic ballistic weaponry, that's pretty good to get too. Arms in the dark, create an intelligence agency versus good news sent home. We shall send a messenger and escort him back to Shady Sands to tell the president, wherever she or he may be now, that we're still alive and brawled back to the dome ourselves. If we're lucky, the NCR will send us their heartfelt gratitude and hopefully some aid as well, but we cannot expect anything high caliber constant flowing due to logistical reasons. Let's be a bit realistic, we're three states away. Uh, stability plus one percent. Arms in the dark. Fulfill the mission's expedition. Prepare the homecoming. Hope for the downtrodden. Well, what kind of purity? So, uh, this is nice and all. I feel like you about that. Please go right ahead. I'm gonna maybe prepare for the homecoming. Maybe. Maybe we'll do this one just because. Uh, hope, what does it provide hope? Um, eh, it's okay. That that would help, but. Defense bonus? Oh, dude, prepare for the homecoming. 20 years, this is how much time we've needed to recover from bleeding out almost completely. Since then, we've gone back into a position where we're forced to be reckoned with. And now, we're taking back our home. And no bleeding heart raider is going to keep us from that. No, sir, no. And actually, can we core stuff already? We can't, we're really, really close. Okay, that's not too good. 32 is not bad. Uh, I'd rather core this one first because you get the city and you get some resources. This one has no resources, which kind of sucks, but whatever. It is what it is. The divide was annexed. Goodbye, divide. Ooh, nice. And we have nine divisions, which is very good. Actually, I might take you guys out. Lots of boys. Special forces. I'm going to probably prioritize special forces for now. Old dog. Three attack. Radio. Uh, Rad apprentice. He has a Seca. Siege of Hidden Valley is very good. Very, very good. Captain Pierce. Uh, old dog. He's smoking. We love smoke here. Rad Master sounds really cool to get. Inspirational, though. And Rad Master. Nice. Battle plants. Oh, very good. Uh, let's grab that one. Let's grab. Local workspaces. I'm just not sure which land doctrine we're going to go down. But yeah, we're going to keep going down for this one now. I think that would be okay. Because if we went down this one immediately... Oh, uh, where is it? Uh, this one's okay. This is for only for robots. So, And actually, this one, this one is for the entire army, which is not bad. Quality. Army's not bad. Robot stuff. Army stuff, which is not bad. Armor hardness does nothing for infantry, though. Army more defense. Cell usage. Factory output. Eh. Meh. 
That's my response. It's just eh. Fair the homecoming. And do we have special forces? We do technically have that already. Now thank you for this one. Cool. Arms in the dark. I want to do that one. I would kinda wanna do a revenge for everything though. Let's see what that does. Oh, there's no nothing there. Okay. Well that sucks. Well that's okay. Things happen. Go on court. Court. Nice. 29 is very good. Slightly more population. Hope we can call more, 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 but after this, we'll probably do prepare settlements. Home at last. The war against the Black Canyon Raiders has been concluded. Okay, we go. Boulders are named a dome city. Okay. Encoded signals. So a little bit ahead of time. I know we got to focus on that quite a bit. Get some construction first, though. And do we have any. Ooh, we have no assimilation. Okay. Uh, begin scavenging thing. Eh, I don't want to use that, but why not? Why not? Boulder. Where's Boulder? Oh, Boulder's right there. Oh, Boulder's right there. Okay, we, we gotta go to Boulder quickly then. Oh, they're, they're, pu oh, they're a puppet of these guys. Uh, Black Canyon, 2,000 manpower, 5 to 9, 2 to 4. We do have 10 divisions, so... Do we have enough divisions to cover the entire line? Revenge for everything. Oh, nice. We technically do, which is good. So, what we might want to do is take out Boulder first. So, you guys come down here. Do that. The Black Canyon Raiders posed multiple threats to the people of Colorado. Not only are they terrible raiders who only seek to destroy any established civilization, but they're also they're assisting the ghouls. Rodders and Raiders were a perfect pair. They took our dome when we had to abandon due to that hateful Victor Presper. May his name rem remain forever cursed. We only can hope that the ghouls didn't find the entrance to the dome. Or if they did, that they can't, didn't cause too much harm. Those imbeciles with their rotten brains can only cause destruction, and that doesn't even account for what the raiders want from them. Protection? Ha! Ridiculous. Both of them will pay for the injustice that was dealt to our people, and for preventing us from accomplishing our mission. Oh, they will pay dearly. Very good. Which I just want to go straight to war. And we'll do this. Prepare the settlements. Go straight to war. Uh, go stop training first. And then we'll go to war. Hopefully we can hold against these guys, but we'll see what happens. We shall definitely see what happens. Give about five more seconds. Okay, that's five seconds. Good enough. I don't want to waste time with that, so there you go. Help them out, help them out. Just hold against everyone else, because once the, these guys are gone, then, well, we can't really do too much. Oh, we can't cover our entire front line. Oh, that sucks. Well, as long as they don't move too much, we're kind of okay. Hmm, we could try an encirclement here, but that probably won't go very well for us. You guys could go there, you guys could go there, but you guys go into there like that, maybe? Sir, where are you going? Hold for now, and you guys pin him. Oh, they wanted to get in there. You guys, can you force the attack? Oh, I should have made these guys a little thicker first. That's what I should have probably done. Oh, you guys help out. Drop some drug trade if you like to. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Pass me a hit. Pop off. And help them out here immediately. Kill, 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 kill. And we will have Boulder and encircled two enemies. Immediately go right on in. Do they have another capital? Oh, they do. That sucks. That really sucks that they do. We've got two encirclements being made right now, which is not bad. Uh, we definitely don't want to get him over here, so... I don't want to force the attack, but I we got to keep him pinned for now. We just have to. Come on, hurry up. Kill them off. Come on. Oh, man. Our division's going to suck. Let's see. Ooh. Good. Can we keep doing that? No, we cannot. God dang it. Anything else here? Nope. That sucks. Oh, did we get rid of them? That's good. You guys go and hold. That's fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. How are they not dying? Oh, they can kind of pierce us. That's kind of why. Drop that organization and nothing. Oh, yes, let them attack us. Good, good, good. And then they're gone, which is good. All right, so these guys I don't really care about too much. So you guys are going to come right here, and you're going straight for the capital. We've lost 68, which is not bad, versus 700-ish. Roughly 700. Oh, can we call more stuff first? That'd be really nice. No, we cannot. That sucks. Um, go and do outside of battalions. I want more non-core manpower. That'd be good. All right, and here we will hopefully go soon. We've definitely sort of abandoned the line. All right, so they're going to attack. We're going to go just do this. Boom, boom, Laramie. And help support the attack, too. Good. Go in there, too. I don't care if the special forces die. They're special forces for a reason. And we will have broken them. Nice. Prepare the settlements. And, ooh, Fort Collins. Do we, we haven't core that one yet. Don't drink the water. And that's chug water, right? Yeah, it's chug water, which is right there. We did core that one, so let's do that one next. 
Don't drink the water. Chug water sure has a funny name. Too bad we can't figure out why it's called that. One thing is certain, however, the name calls the thirsty from near and far to a place where all the water is heavily radioactive. The only responsible thing to do is clean up the little lake formed where an old bomb creator collects rainwater. So this oasis can live up to its name. Of course, we'll need a facility for that first. We get two civilian workshops and 12 things of water. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, how dare you do that? You're going to really try to encircle us. Nope. Uh, you don't move. Do not move. Do not move. Do not move. Go in here. Cut them off. If they want to move here too, we'll kill them off too. Oh, you wanted to leave, sir? No, sir. No, no, no. Not today. Oh, you wanted to leave. Not today. Actually, if you want to help support the attack here, I'm kind of okay with that since they're not moving yet, so that'll be good. And they're still attacking, which is fine with me. Reclamation Authority. Very good. And Extra Divisions. Thank you. Oh, they're attacking us. That's not good. Well, if you want to die, I'm fine with that. Oh, glow bugs are gone. Very good. If you guys could just go, that'd be great. See what happens. Just kill them all off. That's the most important thing to do. When you have enemies, you just kill them off. They're beating us up there because of the militia, whatever. You guys go ahead and go over here. Just cut them completely off. And let's go ahead and help out everyone else here trying to kill off all these other divisions first. We want to unite a front. Goodbye. These four divisions down here will all die, which is good, 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 good. And we'll cut them off from all the territory. Don't, don't drink the water. Unless you're really, really thirsty, then you might just die, but that's okay, right? Cool. And Arms in the Dark, Military Service for Citizenship. Despite the fact that we've never claimed to have any living connection to the NCR proper, people still flock to our banner. This is something that we could use, well, maybe the proper term is exploit, but that's a moot point. We'll offer citizenship for the of the Republic for anyone who serves in our military for, let's say, five years. I'll surely lure in some people. If they die before then, yeah, so be it. It happens. It happens. And once these guys are gone, well, we pretty much have free reign of the entire territory. Oh, and they should be starving for supplies now, which is good. Go there first. Keep these guys in place. Get in there, get in there, so we can help them out and kill them all off. That'd be good. There you go, nice. Go in, go in. Local workspaces are good. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some organized agriculture. That's nice, more manpower. We can grab some of the stew. Actually, I've not done planes yet. I almost always do planes early on. I forgot about them this time. Wow, this, what's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? And they have died. Good. The River Bend. We're clearly winning. We took back the dome. We pushed back the raiders to the other side of the Medicine Bow. This war is almost more than we could chew, but we lost, and we lost a lot of manpower. Even if we could push them back to the capital, we can never police their lands. Yes, we can. The section between the mountain peaks and where the river bends seems like a natural border and an easily defendable position for us. We have no other choice but to call off the offensive, or the victory will be our downfall as well. We'll call it showing them mercy so they won't realize our weakness. Between the Plate River and the Medicine Bow mountain range, we have a highly defensible position, and even we could beat back the Canyon Raiders, we don't have the bodies yet to effectively control and police their territories. Oh, uh, no. Don't do it. No! 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 I wanted all the territory. I wanted more. That's right, though. Um, do we actually hoard this? Nice. Actually, I should have hoarded this stuff before then. That's all right, though. Oh, man, I feel cheated. But not that cheated, so. Penitentiary. That'd be good. That'd be good. And very nice. Not too bad. I got more population, too. And then we'll go ahead and do squash the bugs. Yeah, why not? In her absence, filthy little bugs have started lurking around a great dome, threatening the residents and damaging the structure. They'll be deported as soon as possible and made to pay for this injustice with their stockpile of scraps. Pests like these, some of them may die, but that is a sacrifice we're willing to make. My apologies about that, everyone, but I went back and looked at this just a little bit, and so you remember how earlier in the episode we like said, okay, we have enough time. Let's just do the one that doesn't hurt us with harsher penalties later on. Well, I went back because I played this a little bit ahead of time, or I played it a little bit, and let's just say I want as much time as possible. So I went back, and we're going to have harsh penalties if we can't get this done, which we probably won't. Because we won't be able to get Zach's technology research. Additionally, I've also got the scientist here, James, a narcissistic, narcissistic programmer. But for us to actually get this done, to research Zach's technology, you need to go all... It's 533 days for the last technology in itself, which is insane. You can't get that done, so I don't know. But we haven't done, we haven't done Don't Drink the Water. And I've also played a little bit off-screen to kind of speed things up a little bit more for us, so... Um, damage Assessment. 
Hopefully our calculations were correct and the old Zack, as other engineers started to call it, is still kicking. Our first and foremost important job is to make a damage report so that we know where we stand. And while we are at it, maybe we can do some emergency repairs as well. If we're lucky, we can delay the inevitable just long enough. So I, did, I wanted to replay this already just to make sure we had as much time as possible. Well, I've also gone ahead and... Are we still mobilizing? No, we're not. Oh, we, are, we did course some territories here too, so... That was actually pretty good. Yeah, I spent too much time taking, trying to take out the Luminous Ones. And these guys weren't too bad. And as well with the, of course, Glowbugs. The Yu-Gi-Oh card one. Let's see, can we record anything here yet? Not quite yet. So, it is what it is. But, as much as I want to do this one, I think it would be best to wait still. Because we need to access the, the Zax databank as fast as possible. It seems the Zax is in a lot worse shape than we anticipated. Keeping it alive is possible, but fixing it entirely could take many, many, many years. We have to extract the necessary data in its current state, even though any kind of attempt will shorten its lifespan. Just keep it together, Zach. Oh boy. And coordinate salt for now, at least. So, And also, I did make our divisions a little bit bigger as well. Look at that man. Oh, look at even more manpower. Nice. I'm kind of glad I replayed this off screen just because we try to speed up as much as possible. The damage reports are in. And now we should be 20 couple with here, which is good. The old Zack, the really creative name our engineers came up with for the computer, has certainly seen better days. Its main generator is out of order, so it slowly sucks all the electricity from the facility's emergency generators. The data, can, the data cannibalism that started two centuries ago has gotten a lot worse, and if we cannot reverse it or slow it down, then it might become irreversible. Our best experts have already sat together and come up with a detailed plan for how to heal our patient. It'll take a lot of time and technology, not necessarily uh, which are in our hands, but for a prize like this, we'll have to try nevertheless. At least we could restart Zach's generator to have save some time. We get six more days, which is good, but those 60 days are going to go bye-bye immediately. Because I'm pretty sure we have to do this pretty much as fast as possible. So, that's why I replay this, and it's just, mm, ah, it is what it is, ah. This one, uh, remove 120 days from missions, power armor technology versus access to local robotics studies. We can get robotics, or we can get Sentinel Combat Systems. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sentinel Combat Studies. Where am, where am I going? Is this the Sentinels? No, it's over here in Robots, right? Sentin is this? That's not Sentinel. Scary Bots. Uh, Sentinel Combat Studies. Ooh, I'm not sure which one we should do then. Ooh. And we're still on Western Economy, unfortunately, because I forgot about that, so... Yeah. Hmm. But we do have gliders. We do have gliders, which is very good. Very good. I love gliders. Los Ejercito. That's fine. We're, as you can see, really just out of guns. Let's core this, because we need to. And then we'll core this next, too. And that means we'll need less guns for this, too. Good. All right. And we're we'll doing that stuff. We're getting some more money. Oh. Whoa. There's so much here. Okay. There's a lot more here. Add 30 days. Okay. So that's cool. We might actually have to save our PP then. Add 30 days to the mission. Oh, boy. We're learning Ohm's Law. Oh, we're going to need so much PP for this. I like that manpower that we have though, right now. 60 days. Fried circuits. Whoa. Um. This is going to remove 120 days. We get healing powder, which I'm not sure is really worth it. So, And we haven't done squash the bugs yet either, or military service for citizenship either. Just because I had to rush down here, so. Oh man, I don't know. You know, I'll leave this up to you guys. Should we do make a breakthrough with scientific robotics tech? And do access to the local robotic studies, which is not bad. Or should we do access to the local power armor studies, which we can do both of these probably. Or, and get technology of the walking dead, which sounds like a lot of fun. But I'll leave that up to you guys, just because, yeah, I'll, I like getting your input. And I really had to rush through this, which is great, but not bad. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. When we'll figure out what we're going to do with Zax and take out some Chinese and probably the rest of Northern Colorado. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.